All right, so now we've hired our actors, and so we have John and Lisa ready to tell my story in my, in my movie or my play. Uh, and the next thing I want to do is to change this background. Right now they're on a really boring sound stage, right? It looks like they're in the middle of a blizzard. Uh, I want them to tell this joke in, in a more interesting place, and so I need to change the background of my stage. And to do that, we're going to come over to this area right over here on the left side, right near the sprite, where you can see some information about the stage. And you'll see the same four basic icons here for creating new backdrops for the stage uh, that were basically the same four backgrounds or the same four icons we had for getting new sprites, right? I can upload, I can get a sprite from the library built into Scratch. I can paint one. I can upload from a, a picture on my computer that I've already taken or I can use the built-in webcam. Any of those can, can get me a new backdrop. I want the backdrop just from the library, so I'm going to click on this. And just like we saw with sprites, you see a whole list here, a whole variety of indoor, outdoor, cartoon, actual photos of backdrops we might use, organized into categories. Um, this, in fact, is where, you'll, where you can see the XY grid that you saw me use a few minutes ago in Module 1. Uh, you know, here, I didn't want to show you how to actually get to it earlier, but there's where if we wanted to show students the actual XY grid, you can load it by changing the background. But I don't want that. I want a nice indoor theme. I actually like my knock-knock joke. I think I want it to be told in a school hallway here. So I'm going to load this, this school hallway into this scene, and it sometimes takes a little bit. Uh, I'm not quite sure why it's taking a, a little bit to load here, but we're going to load that uh, high school hallway scene in here. And now we've got John and Lisa sitting in my high school hallway ready to tell my joke. And if I want to sort of get them started here, I can move them around a little bit um, and, and put them where I want them to, to tell my story. And so that's how we set the background for the story. So now we have learned about storyboarding. We've learned about creating different backgrounds. We've looked at creating different actors. Now that we've got all those pieces together and we can get the pretty composition we want in our story, it's time to actually begin programming our simple knock-knock joke story.